ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> ladies and gents. What you? What, what's going on, Allo? You're letting the world try to own you. You feel like going back to sleep? You know, people say, we're going to let Allo be in my background, y'all. He's not going to take over too much, but we're going to let Allo be in my background because, you know, it's, I just feel like Mr. Allo Black, I ain't paid, played him on video in a while, but he deserves a little bit of credit because the man can sing. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to do it my way. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot to talk about. Hey, Allo, I'm going to have to turn you down. You know how much I care about this song. All I told my, the people when I first heard this song is I thought that he was an excellent artist only because of the way the song is done it isn't just a song it's it's like an anthem and eventually people will get it I got it all right let's tell you what else we got ladies and gentlemen there's not going to be any um, going to chat GPT or any of that stuff no web pages or anything not gonna be proving anything to all of you you're just gonna have to trust me with understanding that I've already covered the information I've already shown it to you my job is to prove everything sorry I'm increasing memory while we're talking so that I don't have any issues and so We're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about three different things. The first thing, well, we're going to talk about four things. Ladies and gentlemen, with the spot trading, as of now, we're over 760,000. Now, that's in three months. Four months will be next week, next Saturday. Not, yeah, next Saturday. Not this past Saturday, but next Saturday. So, that will be our fourth month. No, it won't. Sorry, the week after that will be the fourth month. We started in April. May, June, July. Yep. May, June, July. Uh-oh. My bad. We started in April. My bad. <laughs> April 1st. April Fools? Yeah, April Fools. Anyway, we started trading on April 1st. So, full month of April, full month of May, full month of June... And that will be the fourth month, the end of July. The, well, it would actually be the end of July because remember we have the 31 days and we're only going to count 30 days. So the end of July will be the full time period of four months. That, you know what? That's almost a million cryptocurrency coins in four months. That's not bad, y'all. That is not bad. We missed a couple of opportunities there. But what you guys don't understand is that the SEC filed a lawsuit against a company which we have come to understand is the parent company of the platform that we trade on. And when they filed the lawsuit, it was designed to get them to settle. They filed a civil lawsuit. They didn't come after them with the Attorney General's office, which they were supposed to, but they came after them civilly. Why? Because they could talk him into settling but they did they made a mistake they asked for a jury trial the SEC asked for a jury trial now what you all don't know but I'm aware of the SEC the IRS the CIA the FBI any of those alphabet suit organizations that sue anyone civilly they're not doing it on behalf of the United States they're doing it on behalf of their organization and because they're doing it on behalf of their organization, ladies and gentlemen, it works out better for us.
because now I can come in as a member of a group and say, hey, 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 what y'all doing? Y'all forgot about me? Well, I'm part of this group over here. You're named in your complaint. Yeah, nobody's representing me, so I'm going, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to represent us. I got experience. And so that's what I did. But I didn't just bring a motion to intervene. I did a motion to intervene and I sued the SEC on behalf of the group and the company, Binance, the parent company, because it's holding the funds, it's stopping the withdrawals because of what the SEC is doing. The SEC asked them for a full accounting. They have to provide a full accounting, which means they can't give us our funds because of the restraining order that was, it was an in and around restraining order. It's not a deliberate restraining order, it's a dis consent decree. Now, if you don't know what a consent decree is, go and do your research on it. But because it's a consent decree and they've agreed to do this, it operates as a restraining order, which means they agreed to withhold our monies. Now, they get to still pay their employees and they get to still keep their organization operating, but not us. So I told them, oh, no, <laughs> nobody asked us for our permission. Now they're, return they're turning over records and files. This is not just the group that we trade with. This is the entire world where that company operates. Who gave them permission to give my data to nobody? Uh-uh, y'all want to get my data? Y'all better come and ask me. Better go back and look at that fifth and that fourth amendment to the Constitution. So I came in and said, hey, uh, court, judge, you named us, you said to be known as the customers, shareholders, stockholders, all of that. And she said she grouped them all together and said to be known hereafter as the customers. And she mentions us 54 different times. How come nobody recognized that as a class? Well, I, re I recognize it as a class. You better believe I recognize it as a class. And you know what the first thing I did? I said, hey, I'm a class member, Mrs. Crabtree. Miss Crabtree, Miss Crabtree, I'm right here. And so the idea was, hopefully the other attorneys will see this because what I'm doing is the first time it's ever been done. Not only did I bring a claim against both of the two parties to the suit initially and came in on a motion to intervene, used the judge's own order to identify the class, but I also did a counterclaim raising various issues associated with cryptocurrency, including control of the wallet, because there's this phrase, not your key, not your coin. Excuse me, what you mean, not mine? If you better believe it's mine. And so we're challenging that in this case. Now, mind you, my job was to get the other attorneys out there. There were 74 different attorneys who came into the case and the judge blocked them from intervening in the case. I'm not saying I'm better. I'm not saying that they were blah, blah, blah. What I'm saying is none of them thought to do what I did. Nobody's ever done it before. It was obvious to me, but apparently it wasn't so obvious to everybody else. So I do know that the thousands of attorneys who are watching that case, and trust me, there are thousands of attorneys watching that case. I've already seen a couple of published articles showing what we did in that case. And so because people, we just filed it on Wednesday of last week. Well, no, we mailed it on Tuesday of last week. The court got it on Thursday. It was filed on Friday and already things were being posted on Saturday and Sunday. This is the 16th of July. Ladies and gentlemen, if it was garbage, they wouldn't be talking about it. They'd be talking about how it's garbage. But what they are talking about is what I'm attempting to do with the petition. Now, here's the catch-22 for the judge. The judge named the group. So she can't say we're not a class and she can't say we're not interested parties because she brought up our interests herself 54 different times. So I don't have to ask for... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, I need to... She's telling me she's just now seeing my message, but I'm doing a video right now, so I'll have to get back with that young lady. She's part of the platform that we trade on. Well, anyway, 
Ladies and gentlemen, because the judge named the group, let me pause y'all so I can let her know. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently our feelings don't have to disappear, especially after the love games have been played. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all I was trying to do is make sure that the courts understood something, that there were still some of us out here who could maneuver and take care of rebutting presumptions. I am bringing 19 different points up, 19 different angles that other attorneys can't try themselves or have tried but haven't tried it the way I am doing it. So right now the document is having the effect that I need it to have and the overall effect will be in about a week and a half and I will give you guys an update and explain to you through video exactly what was intended. I've already explained it to our trading group but I don't want to advertise it too much until it has been accomplished then I will let you know what the goal was from the beginning all right that's one update now we got to talk about taxes I know there is something I do want to show you all because you do need to pay attention to what I'm about to show you and no we're not going to get into no conversation about well don't worry about it we're gonna get into a conversation about the Bible do you see this right here this is Romans the fourth chapter verse 4 if you got a Bible pull it out read it for yourself because this is the scripture you're gonna read to the IRS every single time your employer or anybody else tells you that they want to tax you for your wages pay attention now to him that works the reward the return for their working the compensation is not reckoned as a grace Oh, this is a benefit. Here's your benefit. No, but as a debt. Now, hold on. Let's get it in a different version so that we can uh, better understand. That was the King James. Let's go to the American Standard. Sorry, I got to turn. Uh, when I'm doing the Bible, I don't do uh, what you call it, music in the background. That's That's the rule. I, it's a respect thing and if you don't have the basic little most simple respect for the true God then you get what you deserve because I wouldn't wish that on my enemy now to him that work at the reward is not reckoned as a grace but as a debt okay but we need a better understanding of that because that right layer just ain't no clear in the understanding Let's do Rotherham. I, I don't know if Rotherham is going to do it the way Rotherham is supposed to do it, but we're going to go to Rotherham and we're going to say, Hey, Rother, uh, we need you to ham up, and we need you to just go ahead and do what you're supposed to do. This is the Book of Romans, the Episcopal of the Apostemopal. Hold on now. And one more. Fo -fo to Unto him that worketh, the reward is not reckoned by way of favor, but by way of obligation. Yes, because compensation for your work. Hold on. Thank you, Rotherham. Sorry. All right. Now we're going to do, let's do the Reference Bible. Reference Bible is uh, the New World Translation, but it's the New World Translation Reference Bible, so it has references. It's a study Bible. Now, unto him, this ain't the reference Bible, that worketh, the reward is not reckoned, that's the same one that we were just in. Hold on, I got to double click, double click, there you go. Knew something was wrong. All right, number four. Now to the man that works, the pay is counted, not as a deserved, an undeserved kindness, as if somebody's giving you a benefit, but as a debt, ladies and gentlemen, what it's being said here is when you go to work, and I've been trying to explain this to people for years, when you go to work, your employer is not paying you because you didn't do something. He's repaying you for what you have already done. 
You have an agreement. You are under contract with him. You did labor. He is compensating you. So if he's compensating you, how can you be taxed? You can only be taxed on, pay attention, listen, income. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, income is a gain. Unless you're receiving a bonus, income is an even exchange when you are being compensated for your labor. That is an even exchange. You cannot be taxed on that. Not going to go into detail about it. But now that you know Romans 4.4, 4, you can utilize that with the IRS because this is a fact. Okay, that's 15 minutes of that. We're going to stop right here. I'll do the other updates on a different video. But we're going to stop right there to give you guys something to marinate on. Have a good day, everybody.